This is Grifola frondosa, maitake, sometimes called hen of the woods, which I harvested at the base of a red oak tree nearby. I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk a little bit about the biochemistry of the medicinal constituents found in maitake and other medicinal mushrooms. Of course, nutritionally, like I mentioned in another video, uh, maitake is very high in vitamin D. In fact, uh, USDA studies uh, show it to be the highest of all the mushrooms, for what that's worth. Uh, high in antioxidants, amino acids, trace minerals, among other things. So highly nutritious. But medicinally, there are two major classes of constituents we can refer to when we're talking about medicinal mushrooms. One of those are the long-chain polysaccharides. So this is carbohydrate-based medicine. Uh, and in this case, very, very large long-chain polymers of essentially sugar molecules, so large they have completely no negative impact on blood sugar. In fact, maitake is beneficial for blood sugar regulation, uh, but it does change the extraction methodology you would use to get the medicine. In general, carbohydrate-based constituents are highly water-soluble. They're very polar in their chemical structure. That said, these are so large that you need to subject the mushroom to heat at a long duration. Uh, in a traditional decoction, for instance, where you're simmering this cupboard on the stovetop, you don't want to bring it to a full boil. That will start to break down the medicine. But just a kind of simmer, gentle decoction uh, over several hours or cooking it gently into soups and stews, highly effective as well. And that will extract out those long chain polysaccharides, which if we want to generalize, which is always... Uh, no, a little bit general, but if we want to generalize, the polysaccharides are where we will see more of the immune-supportive, immune-regulating, and anti-cancer activity of the maitake and other mushrooms as well. Uh, on the other hand, there are also uh, terpenes, and in this case, mostly triterpenes, so they're larger terpene molecules, and uh, these terpenes are, again, to generalize, more responsible for some of the medicinal properties that benefit liver health, lung and respiratory health, metabolic health. Uh, that's not entirely true. The terpenes have been shown to synergize with the polysaccharides for anti-cancer activity, for instance. So this isn't strictly saying, but we could break that down a little bit along those lines. Now, Terpenes are not, in general, water-soluble. They are much less polar than uh, carbohydrate-based constituents. Uh, this is where people uh, come in who promote and talk about doing a double extraction of the mushrooms, where you're using both a water-based extraction and an alcohol-based tincturing extraction, uh, one to get out the polysaccharides and the other to extract the terpenes. And that's fine. You can do that. Uh, personally, I don't think you need to go through so much trouble. And one of the things that I very much disagree with is that you have to do that in order to get the terpenes. You absolutely don't. What often gets ignored in those discussions is the difference that a long duration application of heat will do to change the solubility of particular constituents. So doing a long, slow cooking, like in a traditional decoction, uh, makes those terpenes much more soluble and uh, effectively extracted than, say, if you did an infusion, which would not work very well. Uh, also, there is published research showing very, very clearly that the medicinal terpenes in reishi, for instance, uh, are very effectively extracted in long-duration hot water uh, uh, extractions, like a decoction. Um, and the authors of that study theorize that there may be functional groups uh, on these terpenoid molecules that actually uh, increase the polarity, making them more water-soluble. So biochemistry, phytochemistry, in this case mycochemistry, can get fairly nuanced and sometimes gets oversimplified. 
but that's the long and short of it. I'm going to eat this though. Uh, but if I was to make medicine, I would uh, probably just do a long decoction and that works quite well. Mm -hmm.